Hey guys, and welcome back to more Titan Tries. Uh, today, keeping in the theme of the aerial combat stuff we've been looking at recently, uh, I decided to have a look at IL2 Stumovic Birds of Prey for the uh, Xbox 360. Um, now, I played, I played a couple of these type of games on the 360 the world war ii kind of shooters um but i don't think i've played this one i suppose we'll find out when i put it in and we see if i've got any achievos for it i think the one i'm thinking of was blazing was it blazing angels and there was like secret weapons over normandy stuff like that i definitely had those back in the day um they were fantastic games but this one took my eye, and I actually bought this uh, a little while ago now, and I paid a whopping three pounds for this game. <laughs> so, you know, I, I don't know what to expect. I'm not really sure how these games got reviewed either, but one thing that I've always thought, as good as Ace Combat and um, things like Deadly Skies were, as much fun as they were, and even the new Wingman, I think the World War II setting actually fits these games really, really well. Because obviously that was much more of a close combat sort of situation. Dog fighting and that kind of thing. So I've got some uh, blurb here for the game. And so IL-2 Birds of Prey is a combat flight simulator game that lets you experience the aerial battles of World War II. You can fly in over 40 planes from fighters to bombers across six historical theatres of war, such as the Battle of Britain. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, and the Battle of Berlin. You can also customise your difficulty levels from arcade to realistic and engage in online multiplayer for up to 16 players. Yeah, we won't be doing that. So the game is based on the IL-2 Stumovic series, which is a name which is named after a Soviet ground attack aircraft that was widely used in World War II. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm familiar with that. The game features authentic sound effects and voice acting, as well as realistic damage models and weather effects. Hmm. The game was developed by... Ah, Gaijin Entertainment, a Russian studio that also made War Thunder. I was just thinking that. I did play a lot of War Th uh, Thunder back in the day. You know, back when I had good internet. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that game can be a bit of a money pit, though, so... <laughs> free to play um interesting gaijin huh another popular combat flight simulator game the game receives genuinely positive reviews from critics and players who praise its graphics gameplay and variety of missions all right i mean maybe this is one in time to add to the list of games to play on the back of the box it says take the skies and turn the tide of the second world war um you know, I really should maybe go for white on my light just so I can actually, you know, read <laughs> what it says on the back. Take to the skies to turn the tide of the Second World War, engaging in his history's most iconic airborne missions, battle for supremacy over stunning landscapes. From the patchwork fields of southern England to the smoking ruins of Stalingrad, the series that revolutionised the PC combat flight simulator genre finally lands on Xbox 360. Hmm, interesting. Back of the box is pretty cool. Gives you a bit of a look at the game. I don't know how... Um, like simulation-y this game's gonna be why don't we pop over and have a look let's get this game loaded up and see what we can find not every day you get to bust out the xbox 360 so i'm kind of looking forward to this one that's if the sign in's actually gonna work fingers crossed <gasps> Oh, there we go. She was having a little bit of a think about it for a minute there. Also, being a 360 game, I forgot I've got to switch over to my other headset. Lel. Anyway, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be uh, probably more of a simulation than, say, Ace Combat. But 
I do remember quite a lot of buzz about this game when it first came out. And it certainly was on my list of games to play. Five oh five games. Never heard of one C company. Now that I'm very familiar with. <laughs> okay. Now Anyone that's played uh, War Thunder will be familiar with that music. <laughs> At least something very similar anyway. Well, visually, if this is what the game actually looks like, that looks pretty bloody good. But then, War Thunder is an incredibly good looking game anyway. Yeah, those planes look good. As long as it's actually like stable and isn't a stuttery mess. I think this is going to be cool. Man, the 360 and the PS3 was such a step up. It was such a massive graphical improvement over the uh, sixth generation consoles. Seventh generation will always be uh, possibly one of my favorite generations with the PS3, the Wii, <laughs> and the 360 of course which was my main system at the time although I did have both right let's have a look now do I have any achievos for this game let's have a squiz no okay so I've never played this before alright I didn't think I did let's go for single player uh, I mean oh we have to play the tutorial Oh, well, there's a kick in the sacks. Alright, probably a good idea to be fair. This training flight will introduce... Oh. Okay, so there's three... Options here. This training flight will introduce you to the Spitfire Mark II fighter and its controls. You will also be introduced to several important combat maneuvers. White. Let's apply. Apply for training. You can select your plane's loadout in the training or in the online game modes. Alright. Fine, I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks pretty. Oh, yeah. This looks very good for a 360 game. Okay. Well, thank you. Ooh. <laughs> Telling me that now. Surely we should have learnt this before. So we can pitch up. Hey, look Watch at the contrast. Is decreasing and your speed is increasing. Yes. Now level the plane by moving the elevator in the other direction. Yep. We done it. We done it. Remain on present heading. Turning the aircraft 
is slightly more difficult. Roll the plane with the ailerons first, then pull on the stick to move the elevator. Aye. We know that much. And we can yaw with the other stick. Okay. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we just done that. Okay. Okay, makes sense. There we go. Wep. Not sure what Wep stands for. Ah. War emergency power, eh? We like it. We keep we're trying. We're trying. The plane keeps conking out. We've done it. Yeah, seems like it would be unwise. Yep. We got that. Alright, I kind of like the floaty controls. It actually does feel just like War Thunder, to be honest. I imagine playing War Thunder on low graphics would actually look pretty much like this. Also, the clouds are very nice. They look volumetric, even though I very much doubt they are. Now we'll learn to climb, which is rather important in a plane. Pull the stick towards you. If the climb rate decreases, increase power. Okay. Great. Always try to stay above your opponent. Altitude advantage is crucial in combat. The old boom and zoom. Yep. We're falling with style. Oh, right. I mean, Great job. we didn't need to, but okay. Yay! Yay, we did it guys. We are now fully qualified and trained to fly a Spitfire Mark II. Luckily we didn't have to learn how to take off and land because that could be, uh, you know, pretty horrific. It's interesting because I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm kind of sure I played it. Perfect. Well, I don't get called perfect often. Today's training will offer invaluable advice on using various aircraft devices. Topics will include maps and navigation, Spitfire, Mark II cockpit overview, and more. All right. I kind of just want to you know, shoot airplanes down, but well, Rome wasn't, uh, wasn't built in a day, I guess. Baby steps. Corporal Clark, you have proven yourself in basic flight training. I hope you won't disappoint me this time either. Well, we're going to try not to. The finer moments of aerial combat. Situational awareness is key to victory. Try to look around. Oh. Click the stick in. An enemy will never surprise you if you keep your head cool. on the swivel. You have great visibility in the external view. There are other views as well. Please switch to the inner <laughs> view. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, because obviously... Okay, we can zoom our eyeballs in. Alright. 
Has it now? I'm checking the map. Okay. Yeah. I believe we've got it selected. Target camera. Oh. So that kind of zooms in. Whoa, that was cool. That <laughs> looked that that felt awesome. Yay, we'll be an ace in no time. Really? Why didn't? Oh, hello. Yeah, obviously there's no external views in real life. Yep, landing gear is down. Look at that. This guy is going to be toast. Come on, I want to see him go down. Alright, boss. You told us we successfully completed this training mission, and then you told us about bringing our landing gear down. Okay. Combat's fun. I'm liking this more than I liked um, Deadly Skies. And I like that these uh, force training missions are kind of short and sweet. Hey, we got a perfect. Excellent. You've completed all previous lessons and proved your skill as a pilot. Starting today, you'll get to use your Spitfire Mark II in combat. Your instructor will be your wingman and advise you on the proper way to conduct aerial combat. Sweet! Mark II, eh? Very early. 1940s, I suppose. It's interesting. Battle of Britain, we never ran out of planes. We always had plenty of planes, but we did start running out of pilots. The hum. Chances are we'll have a chance encounter or two. Stay alert. Well, that's good. I quite like that. that. You can bring down the enemy during the last sortie. But I'm going to mention one more thing. Your weapon has a weak oil, which slows you down a bit. Keep it in mind. Okay. That's cool. Makes sense. It's Stop like... Firing. You don't have to worry about ammunition today. Do we not <laughs> have to worry about ammunition today? Alright, I see we're wearing our bandana. Good to know. Now, I know in the A-10 uh, Warthog, they can only fire for X amount of time. I think it's a three second burst or something. Not even three seconds, I don't think. Um, and if they fire for any more than that, the actual plane will stall. Which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But then when you think what well, the A-10's packing, it's pretty gnarly. Yeah, we know. I like the way we see all the spent cases coming out of the wings as well. Now, I like uh, the old Spitfire, man. They had eight machine guns. At least the early ones had eight machine guns. Later on, they started getting a mix of machine guns and cannons. But uh, one of the reasons they had so many guns... Is because when they got into combat, the hope was that at least some of them would still work. <laughs> oh man, that feels so good. I'm liking this, guys. Uh, dude, there's a lot of them. We're definitely going to remember about deflection shooting. Nah, we're good, we're good, we got this. Kind of makes me wonder how well, like, a primitive version of War Thunder would have worked. It's just like blasting their wings off, tearing them to pieces. This is sick. Luckily, they're not putting up much of a. much resistance. 
So we're on our second like mission, or third mission really, and we're already in ace. And it's all right. We got this. We got this. You need to hold the button down. Okay. Critical speed. That's not great. So target camera. All right. There's a lot more controls that you've got to think about in this game. We know. We know how it's done. I also believe um, the old Spitfires, they didn't actually have that many rounds. Only a few hundred rounds per gun, which went incredibly quick. Yeah, look, these... Uh, these planes aren't even pretending to try and turn and engage us. I'm guessing the actual game ain't gonna be like that, Chief. But I can see this game being quite cinematic. Shredded his wings off. We are using the target camera. Chill your bean, Jesus. Right, let's see if we can't just close in behind this guy and sweep him out. <laughs> Oh, it just feels good. It's the way the controller vibrates as well and you hear that the sound for the guns is quite deafening. It really is quite effective. Right, let's light this guy up. He's gone. Not really sure why we keep getting that picture or that video below us. I don't know if that's supposed to be us or what. Come on. Make sure we are using the target camera. That's why we're getting the weird squiffy look. Yeah, you've got way more kind of control with this game because as you're manoeuvring, you're, you really are yawing as well to try and get those guns over the target. And there's a nice bit of physics going on as well. The plane's kind of bouncing around. Man, imagine if the Germans went down this easy in the actual Battle of Britain. We are getting some frame lag. But it's not, yeah, it's not too bad. He really likes to bang on about that target camera. Even though we're pretty much always using that. Whoa, we got oil on us as well. That was cool. One of the Ace Combats did that, I believe. You always had, um, like, oil when you went really close into the dogfighting mode. I can't remember which one that was. That was actually on the 360 as well. And I believe when you got behind an enemy at a certain range or something, you could click the two sticks in and it kind of locked you into this dogfighting mode. Yeah, all right, dude. Look, you're getting on my nerves now about this tar targeting camera nonsense. We are using the targeting camera, all right? Camera is being targeted. I like the idea there's like 40 types of planes. Now we're probably one of the most decorated pilots in World War II now. What do you say? Something about pushing B? Uh, I'm a good shot. We were unfrickin' stoppable. Admittedly, you know, they didn't, they didn't really try and stop us that much <laughs> but you know okay mission realistic ah yes because this even this whole interface is kind of very um war thunder actually perfect efficiency unbelievable yeah yeah I, i'd say that was pretty unbelievable a new world war begins in Europe. Nazi Germany takes over Czechoslovakia and invades Poland. Denmark and Norway are next. Armies of Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg are routed by the Wehrmacht. And yet more countries are devoured by the Third Reich. The French government surrenders on June 22, 1940. The British expeditionary force crushed on the battlefield barely escapes at Dunkirk. Germany is victorious yet again.
and World War II enters a new stage. Great Britain remains the only country in Europe that stands against Nazi Germany. Britons never will be slaves. Separated from mainland Europe by the English Channel, the British Isles are temporarily safe from the German Blitzkrieg. Britain is fully aware that the first strike will come from the air. It's prepared for that. A complex defensive infrastructure of detection, command and control, known as the Downing System, gives the Royal Air Force a serious advantage. The RAF is a multinational force with pilots not only from the British Commonwealth, but also from Poland, Czechoslovakia, France, Belgium, and other British allies. By Indeed. July 13th of 1940, Hitler personally approves Operation Sea Lion, calling for a full-scale invasion of the United Kingdom. So Winston Churchill, the British Prime Minister, responded with the famous speech, we shall go on to the end. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our islands, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. Within days, thousands of German bombers and fighters would set course for England and try to break the British resistance. A handful of young men in the Royal Air Force would stand between Hitler and the total domination of Europe. Never in the field of human conflict had so much depended on so few. Yeah, it's pretty hard not to feel pretty uh, patriotic listening to that indeed um, I believe one of the most highly decorated squadrons um, which you don't really hear a lot about uh, in the Battle of Britain was actually a Polish um, squadron and they were like given hand-me-down planes and everything but they were invaluable so, 10th of July 1940, after an overwhelming show of force during the Battle of France, the Luftwaffe was poised to launch Operation Sea Lion, the invasion of the British Isles. The Germans began the operation by launching bombing raids on British shipping in the Channel. Corporal Barnaby Tuck and pilot Owen Wright received orders to patrol the, sh patrol the shoreline between the towns of Folkestone and Dover. Alright, difficulty... Yeah, let's just roll with it, just to try it out. Arcade. I'm actually, um, I'm really, really into this. I'm enjoying the cutscenes, I'm enjoying the gameplay. Oh, we're in a hurricane? Okay. Yeah, because we're in hurricanes. Is there a way? Uh, yes, we want subtitles. All the subtitles. Okay. Nice looking crates, eh? Yeah, the Spitfire was an just insane piece of equipment. It was built more like a sports car than a fighting machine. I think even uh, the Germans were incredibly, incredibly envious of the Spitfire. And as it went through the marks and was constantly redeveloped throughout the conflict, it just became better and better and better. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, absolute monstrous piece of equipment. Very unique looker as well. Right, looks like our friend is getting away from us a little bit. Let's try and hit the engines a little bit. And see if we can't do some damage down on the bay. Look at the... Whoa! <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was too... 
too busy looking at the scenery. <laughs> I like the way when we restarted, we could still see like the burning wreckage of our wingman going, <laughs> going down. Ah, oh, fantastic. All right, 185 speed. No wonder we blew past you. Right, so. 130% engines now. Can we uh, speed this up a little bit, though? Yeah, he's getting way above us now. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's really, really taken off. All right. I hope we converted to those sooner rather than later. Notice how we didn't get an option to uh, switch up our gear. Bit of a shame. Alright buddy, when do we get a piece of the action? Look how cool the village looks. More like a city, actually, but... Looks really amazingly detailed. Even with, like, the septia, whatever you call it, um, kind of filter. Oh, we'll be taking some jerrys to school very soon. Let's go get them! Alright. Let's go get them, shall we? Destroy the enemy. Let's go protect the fleet. I would say let's go become an ace, but somehow we did that in training. It's pretty impressive if you ask me. Short control bursts. Alright, he's scrapped. Burn in hell. That's what we like to see. You ain't getting to the land, mate. White Cliffs of Dover are going to be the last thing you ever see. <laughs> I think that sounds like a jolly good idea, old bean. West. Oh. Thought we were gonna. Oh, that's you. Let's go west. I was heading west, and then we were told to go this way. Now I hope we don't bother recovering those guys that have fallen in the sea. Let them drown. Okay. Let's stick with our boy here. Coming in above you, old bean. Kill the throttle so we don't overtake him. There we go. War emergency power. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's just cruising. He's just chilling. I suppose if we hit. Oh, hello. There we go. I see what we're looking for. Let's go splash these bastards. Maximum power. Let's get there as quick as we can. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with ammo in this game. I don't know whether we have a limit. I mean... Ooh, Jesus, fucking crazy Jerry bastard. Honestly, what was with that? Right, this should be nice. Nice little strafing run. However, they are returning fire. Ooh, damn. Let's see if we can cut this guy in half. Let's kill that speed. 
<laughs> oh my god, that felt incredible. Yeah, with the rest. Have we got any more space left on our fuselage, have we? Got some big holes in it now. Excellent. Hey. To be fair, we'd probably be pretty low on ammo by about now. Secondary retrieved, eh? What have we received as a secondary? Continue the mission? Uh, sure? Oh, right. An extract from the diary of Owen Wright. July the 10th, 1940. They called me up today. I was so excited to be finally fighting for my beloved Britain. I forgot my lucky scar. <laughs> the Nazis Air Force is even greater than I imagined from the French reports. I've never seen so many planes in the sky at once. And it was exhilarating, but also terribly scary. My fellow RAF pilots saved me on more than one occasion. I'm thankful they did. What did my poor mother say if I was shot down on my maiden war dance flight? Ah, it doesn't look as though the Huns will stop their relentless onslaught. Hopefully, I've done enough to prove my worth and get caught up again by Corporal Tuck. <laughs> I must remember to take my scarf. <laughs> I have a feeling I'll need it next time. Yeah, I dare say you will, old boy. However, I'm pretty sure we should be highly decorated after that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. Because we've been going for nearly 40 minutes, and to be honest, if I don't stop now, I think I will probably be playing this all night. <laughs> this is quite excellent. Probably one of the best examples of the genre, actually, if I'm being honest. Gaijin did a fantastic job with this one. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you in the next one.